Table just for you and me. No more shopping frantically. Come and show me how to cook. I can learn without a book. My eyes are on your every move. Jay, you always threw my appetite. The things you do turn out right to my delight. I'm waiting for a rainy day. I'll learn today. Um, what I'm going to do today is really simple. I'm going to put about a tablespoonful of oil in this pan and I'm going to get some hot peppers. Now, if you haven't got hot peppers, you go to the drawer and you get some chili peppers or some chili flakes. But you put those in. I've got hot peppers. And what I'm going to do with these, this is the way they do it in Thailand. This isn't a Thai dish. This is my dish, your dish, our dish. What I'm going to do today is something they do do in Thailand, which is to fry the peppers. Now, if you don't break them up, they don't get half so hot. So I'm going to put in about six or seven hot peppers. And here and pop, that's what we need to do. Just get the the, 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 the sort of heat act, acting on them. And I'm going to cut up a cabbage and shred it. And the easiest way, so this is very simple, very quick, very easy, spicy cabbage. And there are lots of cabbages used in oriental cooking. And all you gotta do is cut it thin enough. That's ready to go and cook lots of cabbage. It doesn't matter whether you get one of these, a Savoy cabbage, or whether you get one of those, which is an ordinary white cabbage, they're all pretty much the same thing, okay? They're cabbage. This one takes longer to cook, so I'm going to cook this one because it's softer and it's much more like an oriental cabbage. Savoy cabbage, turn it round, just cut through it, cut it up, and there you are. I think that's probably about enough. Now look, there's our peppers turn that up a little bit getting hot we want to hear them popping and while they're doing that I'll get ready some of the other things we need we need a couple of cloves of garlic it's funny it's a two three all right it's it's funny how garlic goes with hot red peppers it's another great internal disinfectant a little garlic is a wonderful thing for cleaning out your your pipes much cheaper than a plumber I can tell you that and you just uh, eat garlic and the more garlic you eat funny thing is the less you smell of it I've lived in places I've lived in Belgium for a while we ate garlic until it was coming out of our ears you know, a place called Hasselt and you got to the stage where you didn't smell of it you'd had so much all right so there's our hot peppers now look it doesn't matter that those peppers can you see see how that one's gone black well that doesn't matter that's okay, because it won't get, it won't go bitter. It's not like a lot of things that you cook in there. And all of a sudden, into this, we're going to throw for about one second the garlic, and then we're going to throw in the cabbage. Now, we're throwing in the cabbage because we want to bring down the temperature so that we don't burn the garlic. And we're just going to stir this all around. Now, you can see how much cabbage is in there. Let's put an extra bit in there as well break it up a little bit just to shred it we'll get that bit of stalk off it okay now there's our cabbage and garlic and hot peppers a little bit of oil now we want to spread that around get the juice out of it you put a little bit of salt on it if you haven't got salt some people haven't got salt and probably even got salt they won't have soy sauce but you can use soy sauce instead and a little tiny bit of liquid now you can put water or chicken stock or whatever I am going to put a little beer in there because I got some beer in the fridge all right and just put that on there for a minute and let the cabbage start to steam now it needs some flavorings what we're going to use is mustard seeds now that, that's what mustard seeds are like we just grind those up and they go yellow sometimes put turmeric in to make it more yellow but that's what mustard seeds look like and if you get some plain well they, some of them look like this um, have a look See, that's black mustard seeds, and those are yellow mustard seeds, but that's how things grow. And we're going to put those in there. doesn't matter whether we put 
one kind or the other, we put them both in there and throw them on top of the Oops. get that all off there. It's like playing marbles. Um, stir it all around so it gets a little bit flavored. We got a little bit of oil in there, a little bit of salt. And if you can't see a little, you can see a little bit of liquid on the bottom. Look how little it needs. Look, just a few drops. Can you see just a few drops on there? Well, they're enough to make steam. And that is our garlic spicy cabbage. Crank it up, good and hot now. Give it its final tossing. And it will be flavored. And it will be crisp. And it will be just fine in about, I should think, about two minutes, which is just what we got to take a break. So I'll be back in two minutes. Celebrate the Great Books Festival all weekend on TLC. The Libman Gator Mob. The Jaws for the job. No gloves at the table, thank you. Wouldn't it be great to serve your family dinners like these? They don't take ages to make, or days, or even hours. In fact, you can easily make any one of these great tasting meals in just 30 minutes or less. So all you have to decide now is how to spend all that time you just saved. <coughs> We're sure you'll think of something. Beef, it's what's for dinner. Life is hard, and then you have to make dinner. Easy recipe to the rescue. Just add to chicken for a complete meal in 15 minutes. Easy recipe from Bird's Eye, the fresh look for vegetables. Like a stir-fried spicy cabbage. You don't need a wok. It's just we cook it very, very quickly, very little bit. And what you have to do to finish this is put about a teaspoonful of sugar on it. Now, sugar is a really good thing counteracting too much spiciness and what you want it also gives you the sort of temperature gradient so about a teaspoonful of sugar that's all believe me it tastes wonderful okay that's dead easy now get this pan wipe out my it's a great thing about these modern pans you can just don't even have to wash them up ah now i'm going to do a turkey dish now a different kind of turkey dish. I've got the pan getting hot again. I've got some turkey and I'm going to get cut it up into cubes. Uh, that's it. All right. I like to cut things up and cook them fairly quickly. You could do this whole if you wanted to, but I'm not going to do it whole because we want to cook it so you, we can eat it in a hurry. Cut it up into cubes just like that. And there we are. It's ready to go. Now, we don't have to do anything else to this except put a little bit of oil in the pan. The pan is pretty well hot because we did it. So a couple of tablespoonfuls of oil. The pan is hot, and in goes the turkey. Just a, whoops, a few cubes at a time so that they separate. That's the important thing. We don't want them all to stick together. We just swish that around. And put those over there and stir it quickly so that all the surfaces get coated with the hot oil. We haven't put anything else in there yet except turkey. Now, we could make a sauce. There's a bit of turkey left over. Um, we could make a sauce by putting things in the pan and letting them melt down. We're going to do it a different way. I'm going to show you how to make a sauce in a real hurry. So there. We take a blender or a food processor or a whizzer and dump in a couple of tomatoes. You put in about three or four cloves of garlic. You put in an onion. And because you're putting it in the whizzer, you don't need to cut it up very small, but it does help if you cut it up a little bit. All right? So in goes the onion. We want a couple of... We can either know this or make it that hot. Let's put chili powder in there. About, oh, about a teaspoonful of chili powder or turmeric, okay? And there's the rest of that onion. And we're going to put in there 
some uh, sesame seeds and a couple of mustard seeds. A couple of mustard seeds. They go in there to make a spicy, spicy sauce. Now, quick, whiz it up. Like that. And it's mushy. We get a little bit of cinnamon. We got some cinnamon in here. Yep, there we are. A little bit of cinnamon. And we'll put that in there. Right. And we'll give that a final whiz. Now, if it needed a little bit of liquid, we put it in now, but it doesn't need liquid. All it needs, look how the turkey's gone brown. And we want this to be cooked quickly on the outside so it's got a sort of crispiness on the outside. And this is one advantage of using a deeper pan than a shallow one. See, if I'd used a shallow pan, I'd be spitting all over the place. But we're using a deep pan. So, just thought I'd tell you. And it also keeps the heat in. Now see how that's getting, this isn't cooked by any means yet, because it's just the outside that's cooked. Now, we'll put some pepper on it, because this is a spicy turkey dish, right? And stir that around. We'll put a little bit of salt on it now, because you have to have a little salt to make your body work and also to give it flavor. And then we dump into it all of this sauce that we made. All right. Now this is turkey in very hot spicy sauce. We've got the heat turned up high and what we're doing, we've got enough sauce in there to cook about twice this amount of turkey, but that's okay because you know, you don't have to be perfect all the time. You have to be right all the time. Sometimes you make too much. So what you would do with this, if you've got too much sauce, take a bit of it off and put it in the fridge. It would be nice. And we want some cilantro to make it taste nice. Now, there, cut up some cilantro and get it ready. We're gonna cook this cilantro, because I cut it up on the board I'd had the turkey on, so we want to cook the bugs off it, right? Just in case you forgot. And there we go. This sauce is gonna thicken up. Is that? Yeah, it's up high. Well, we're just gonna let it thicken up till it does get up high. And when it's ready, we're gonna put, we, about two minutes before it's ready, we're gonna put the, um, we're gonna put the um, cilantro on top of it. Now that is the way it'll go. That's just got to get really, really hot and that'll really cook the turkey. It'll cook the turkey because the turkey is surrounded with hot sauce. If you get heat just coming from one direction, then that's not enough. So here we are and see how rapidly that's gonna boil now and it boil away and it will thicken up and it will go smooth and velvety because of the stuff that's in it. All right, that on the top. And I'll chop some more for later. I'm gonna let that cook for about two minutes more while I go away. I'll be back. Visiting this great old lighthouse always makes me think about guidance and direction in my own life. Jesus Christ taught that he is the light of the world. And we learned that he's not very far away from any of us if we're just willing to seek him. That's why I'd like to share something with you. This is the Book of Mormon, another testament of Jesus Christ. You can have a free copy of this sacred book by calling this toll-free number. Its teachings go hand in hand with the Bible and will help you to know and feel closer to Jesus Christ. The more we know about him, the easier it is to understand and live his teachings and then make better decisions and be happier. The Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints would like to send you a copy of the Book of Mormon as a gift, without cost or obligation, when you call this toll-free number. Reading the Book of Mormon will help you to find him, know him, and feel his presence in your life. So please call, because it too can light your way to Christ. New Ultra Palm Olive is so powerful, just a little bit cuts the toughest grease. Yeah, baked on grease, caked on grease, caramelized grease, elbow grease. Ooh, good one. Ultra Tough, Ultra Soft, Ultra Palm Olive. Good news, this Ultra Palm Olive antibacterial is ultra concentrated. So just a little bit gets grease off dishes. And germs off hands. Wow, that's really good news. Yeah, unless you're a germ. 
It's the Ultra Anti-Germ Palm Olive. Look, I think I saw my breath. You didn't see your breath. I did. I saw it. Why don't you call Sears? Maybe I should call. Brian, I'm cold. You're cold. It's cold. It's time. It's definitely time to call Sears now and save on installed heating. Get 0% finance charge, no billing, no payments until January with the Sears Charge Home Improvement Plan. Call now for a free in-home estimate on a Kenmore furnace. State-of-the-art engineering means greater energy efficiency. A new Kenmore could save 10 to 43% on your annual heating costs. In time, even pay for itself. Sears also offers fast emergency installation, a five-year warranty on parts, plus our satisfaction guarantee. And you know Sears will be there to back it up. Get 0% finance charge, no billing, no payments until January. Offer ends September 30th, so call now and save with Sears. Winner, don't you just love it? I'm warming up to mm -hmm. it. All right, now we've got hot and spicy turkey in here. All right, now look, there it is. What I'm going to do, I've got some rice. I'm going to show you how to cook the rice because you know how to do that. I'm going to put the turkey on the rice and I'm going to leave because we made an awful lot of sauce I'm going to leave the sauce in the pot all right see we'll put the turkey on there take it all out of the sauce and there's enough here a couple fillets of turkey breast is enough to feed about four or five people and then we'll put that out of there now I'm going to thin down the sauce you can do it with water or wine but we were using beer so i'm going to put a little bit of beer in there and i'm going to turn it up really high so it'll start to i'm going to make it even a little more diluted because you've got that extra so i i just got into this i suddenly thought of it when we started to do this because i'm only using one pan which is really nice for the whole thing no no dishes okay a little bit of i'm going to decorate this turkey with chopped green onion so i'll just chop up the green onion as fast as i can you should learn to chop quickly. It's a nice thing to do. Have a nice board and chop. Now look how this transforms it. Watch. See, suddenly it's got color and depth. And that's what artists think about. And you are an artist in the kitchen. You and me, that's what we are in the union. Now, stir that around. And I want to do some spicy prawns with salsa. Now, salsa, we can eat with turkey too, if you like. Instead of boiling the prawns in boiling water, we're going to dump them right into the hot sauce. Let them pick up all the flavors that are in there. Just turn, stir them all around so they get a little coated. And they take virtually no time at all. Well, you can see, look in there, how quickly they're starting to turn red. See the tail on that one? Look at that one. Come here. Show me your tail. There. Prawns get shy about that sometimes. But that's what happens. They are getting to cook and I can turn that down they can just simmer while I make the salsa no we were gonna make salsa out of this nice papaya right see how ripe that is and we were gonna make it out of pineapple we could use canned pineapple but I decided that we won't because we've got perfectly nice apples what we want is something crisp and fresh and a sort of contrast to the sweet juiciness of the um, of the papaya that's there we were going to use mangoes but we couldn't find mangoes so you use what you got we're going to make a perfect nice salsa out of apples and papaya now I have to get the seeds out of this and what I'm going to do with these seeds is kind of nice we'll just scrape them out of there and don't throw them away I used to throw these away then I learned better because they taste wonderful. They need to get washed off or not washed off at all and put into the spicy shrimp boil. Look, put that in there and that'll really spice this sauce up and they'll be quite pretty nice and it will have a sort of light peppery taste. But see, see that one's not quite changed color because he's not, can you see that? Can you see that one? It's not quite cooked, okay? But he will be, so we'll put the lid back on and let him have a go. So there, we've got our nice, let's just get the seeds out of there. Gonna make this, gonna make this salsa. Cut the papaya like that. Just get yourself a, a nice dish to do it in. Here's a nice 
little bowl to make our to make our uh, salsa in. Peel that. Right, peel this one. If you cut them into thinner wedges, you get much more meat out of them. And there, and then we get let's get those seeds out of the way. We put everything in one place. You can put this in the whizzer if you want to. We get an onion and put that with it. We get an apple. We don't need a whole apple because it would be too much. We put about a quarter of an apple in there. And we put a quarter of a red apple in there, like that. And then, having got them all together, what we do is just cut them up. You have to go slowly at first because they're big. All right. But as soon as you've got them sort of chopped down into bits, then you can start to really enjoy yourself and chop. Now, don't worry about it being too unchopped, too, too big pieces. Just chop it up and chop it up and chop it up until you feel satisfied. You've got some togetherness, some homogeneity. Right, that's what we need is much more homogeneity in life. And there we are. Chop it all, keep going, push it together, and go over it with your knife. And it seems to take up a lot more room all of a sudden. That's, I don't know why, because when you chop things up, they usually get smaller. But there you are, we've chopped that all up into what looks roughly like a salsa. All right, it needs a little garlic with it, and it needs a little hot pepper. You can use a hot pepper, or you can use it out of a, out of a, uh, out of a jar. So there we are, a little bit of garlic, Oh, where's the piece of garlic? Well, I've put another one in it. Um, you can't, there it is. I knew it was hiding somewhere. Chop that all up and keep on chopping. And then just have this fresh... You get all kinds of nonsense talked about salsas. Salsa is just something to go with something else. All right. Chop that all up nice and smooth. Put it in to a bowl. And use your hands because you can wash them afterwards and that's just fine put it into a bowl all right and then well, some cilantro all right nice cilantro which gives it a green almost musty flavor that goes in with the salsa suddenly the bowl isn't quite big enough we want the juice of a lime to give it if you haven't got a lime use a lemon but it's nice to use a lime because the the juice is kind of different, okay? The juice is sort of, it, well, it's limey. That's what it is. That's what they call limeys. That's why they used to call limeys limeys, because the sailors ate lime juice, and there it was. There's a, now look, let's do this quickly to show you in here. We've got our nice spicy prawns. Look, they come out too. They go into the dish. Look at the color of those, with those pretty sauce oh, with the, with the seeds in it from the papaya. Isn't that just lovely? Oh boy, look at, I mean, that is a dream. That's how you do it, salsa. Dead easy and indecently delicious. Peasant's Choice Cookbook with more of the best recipes from the urban peasant. Over 200 of James Barber's simply and downright sinfully wonderful dishes. Everything from six pack stew to samosas, plus full color photos, behind the scenes shots, cooking tips, and amusing anecdotes by James. Peasant's Choice, just $16.95 plus $4 shipping and handling. To order, call 1 800 561 9966. Ask for Operator 6. If you're ready for a home of your own, what's stopping you? We don't have a savings for a down payment. It's next to impossible, even with both of us working, to put enough money together. I can't afford to own a house at this point. It's more, more difficult than I ever thought it would be. People buy houses all the time. There has to be a way there. I just haven't found it. We're Miles Homes, and we've helped over 50,000 families get the home they need, even when bankers and builders said they couldn't. Top quality homes like these, built from the ground up. Miles gave us a way to build the home we wanted while our family was still young, but before we actually had a lot of savings to do it with. Well, they gave us financing when a conventional bank wouldn't. If your family makes $35,000 or more a year, Miles can show you how to own your own home now. Let's do it. Owning your own home is everybody's dream. 
Well, Miles did what no other bank would do. Your heart and soul is in this house. Coming up, get creative. Make fun, useful things for around the house. Debbie Stapley of Crafts & Company shows you how. Then, get into gardening naturally with Barbara and Elliot right here on TLC. I'm Andre Brower. Want an adventure for your mind? Celebrate the great stories behind the great books. Ideas that shape the way we think and live. Feel the power of the Great Books Festival all weekend on TLC. Put my little bit of leftover sauce in a jar and I put it in the fridge tomorrow. Chicken, give it to somebody. Wonderful. But look what we did in half an hour with one pot. We made spicy cabbage. Nice, simple, easy stuff. Then we made spicy turkey with a more complicated sauce, put tomatoes and stuff in it. And then we had a lot more sauce than we needed, so we got prawns in it. And then we made a salsa to go with any of them. That was pretty easy. That was pretty nice. That's the way I like to do it. And I hope that's the way you like to do it. But right now... Just because it says fry, you don't have to do it in a fry pan. And you don't have to have a wok can do it in a much deeper pan. I mean, you just put heat underneath it and cook it. Saves all that mess on the counter. Try it. Next on TLC, would you like to express your creativity while making something useful for your home? Join Debbie Stapley of Crafts & Company. Then, get into gardening naturally. <laughs> 